Hi, Neil here with Covers and Camo, your source for custom seat covers today, showing you the install on the 2021 Ram 2500. The seat covers inside here are the Max 5 Camo, both for the insert and trim. Awesome looking set, canvas style seat covers inside here. We're gonna show you all the steps. Let's do this. Okay, so we're getting started on this 2021 Ram 2500 install. The first section that I'm gonna show you how to do is the 20 section. So this particular seat style is called a 40-20-40. The 20 is where there's a middle seat right here that can fold up into a, a bench so somebody could sit there, show you that. And this particular one has bottom storage as well as, so you got that bottom storage there and as, as well as top storage. Okay, so top storage section, that bottom storage, and then this again is folds up to a seat right there. So we'll get all three of those covers on. They're gonna be in three separate pieces there. And then we're gonna do the buckets as well. And then the back seat will be the last thing that we'll show you. Now, a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to use, especially for this, well, actually in general for the ins entire install, some gloves are nice to be wearing some gloves. Uh, grab this white fiber stick tool. We'll use this a couple times during the install. Also during this 20 section here as well, I recommend if you have some kind of alcohol prep pads or alcohol cleaner uh, to clean out the vinyl inside here because we're gonna be using an adhesive vinyl uh, that's gonna stick down and then Velcro tabs, and I'll show you that, but it helps to clean it out. Okay, so let's get started on the install. Okay, so this again is the 20 section here that we're gonna do first. Uh, the very first section that we'll do is the top lid cover up here. And so this lid cover is this one right here, okay? So on this particular truck, it has this kind of cutout right here and then one uh, Velcro tab back here and then also this Velcro flap. This flap back here is gonna attach, it's gonna coordinate with the 20 section backrest and they're gonna connect together. So first thing we're gonna do is just kind of undo that Velcro and pull this over here. Now, as you notice, we've done this passenger seat install already because it's gonna install the exact same as the driver's side. So we'll show you that here shortly on how to do that. Okay, so there's that top section pulling over there. That's looking really good there. I'll pull this over. Okay, what we're gonna do now is just attach on this Velcro right here. Okay, you don't have to pull too tight right there, just get it snug on the sides right there. Make sure all the corners are laying down snug. Good, I have all the corners down now. So that top section is done. Now what we need to do is the other section that connects with it, which is called the 20 section backrest. So for this 20 section backrest, we're gonna flip the 20 section up. Right here, and again, there's Velcro on the back side, and that's gonna connect with that lid cover Velcro. Push that through right there. Okay, so what we'll do here now is we're gonna make sure that I'm not pulling too far back that it's making a, a big gap on the front right here. Again, you want this front to be pretty much lined up right about there, okay? 
So it's, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna pretty much come up to right where that fabric is. You can see that where this fabric line is, that's, it's gonna come up to cover that. May overlap it just a little bit, but right about there, okay? And the foam backing on this side right here is gonna come up right up to the top corner right there. So I, I'm gonna slide this down just a little bit more. There we go. So that's, that's pretty good right there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is attach this Velcro on. One thing I'll do is actually open that lid up and then line those up right there. Stick that Velcro on like that right there. Nice. So that's stuck on good right there. That feels good on the front right there. Now what we need to do is we need to take these pieces here, how this attaches on, is there is gonna be four Velcro attachment pieces. And here's the Velcro tabs. There's adhesive backing. What we're gonna do is clean off the inside of this console really nice. And then what we're gonna do is heat this up. I like using a, a hair dryer. Just make sure that the adhesive is nice and warm. And then we're gonna stick that on. And that's what's gonna keep that down right there. So we'll show you those steps here in a second. I'm gonna get some of that prepped up. I'm taking these alcohol prep pads now and looking at the locations of where these this Velcro is gonna stick down. Like, okay, so that's that's one location right there. I'm gonna clean this off really good in that section. Especially if you've used any kind of leather conditioner on your seats recently, or a vinyl cleaner. Uh, some of that can be kind of oil-based. We just wanna get off any of the oils off of here so that adhesive will stick down nice and tight. So we're gonna, gonna do that side and then we'll do this other side over here. Again, just gonna get an idea on where this is gonna stick down. Right there, right here. Now this one right here, the location where this is sticking, it would overlap onto these, this coin tray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trim that Cut that shorter so then it just sticks down just onto this section right there. So I'm gonna clean that section really nice. Clean these sections again where the adhesive is gonna go. Trim any adhesive I need to before I start sticking things down. So that's cleaning, that's the step one on that. Get that nice and cleaned off. Next step on this 20 section is to heat it up with a, well, just make sure that adhesive is, is warm. Especially if it's a cold day, you definitely wanna use something to heat the adhesive up. So I like using a little hair dryer here, that's what I'm using today. But as long as it's warm, maybe sit, set these out in the sun or put it in front of your, your heater for a little bit, that would work as well. And we're just gonna heat this, these up and then we're gonna pull them and then I have these positioned now and I did trim these off a little bit into the positions that I want it. This one was a little long, so I had it, I trimmed both of them a little shorter so they'd, they'd go right there. And so we're gonna stick them down after we heat them up and we'll be, we'll be good to go. Again, what you wanna do is just pull it tight right there and then stick it down. So we will do this side here first. Feel that plastic off here. Pulling this around now. And just making sure that's all smooth on that side. 
before I finally stick it down. Because once you stick it down, you don't want to try to peel it back up. Okay, so I'm sticking that down and I'm just pushing, pushing pretty good on it right there, making sure it stays down. Now this guy right here, he's gonna stick down right there like that. Well. Just giving it some good pressure as you're sticking it down. And then once you, again, once you stick it down and you got it pushed in, just let it sit there and let it really stick on. And you, uh, I used to kind of test these out by trying to pull them up right after. And that adhesive is still bonding and it's best not to not to test that out right away. Just just push it in, just let it, let it stick in there and should hold just fine. Now, just a tip for you, if you have issues with these sticking, sometimes what I have done in the past is I have taken a piece of Gorilla Tape, black Gorilla Tape, and I've stuck it over that on top of there if you find that that's peeling up on you. Sometimes there's just oils inside here that don't, don't come, don't, you can't clean off very well, and if that, that's the case, again, Gorilla, Gorilla Tape is, is a good, extra solution if you if you need to do that uh, most of the time you don't need to but that's just another little tip for you Just giving it some nice pressure as well, pushing that adhesive in, making sure it all is laying flat there. Perfect, so now that, that will finish the 20 section backrest. So we can see it's just nice, tight fitting backrest there. It's the, those corners, oh, the, the sides are held up nice and tight right there. So that's that finishes the 20 section top, 20 section backrest. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom section. And here's the bottom section right here. Here's what the cover looks like. It's gonna be a Velcro on the back and right here. And since this is a storage section, bottom storage, this again lifts up. And we're gonna pull this over on top here. And here's the cutout for the handle. So just fit the, pull that around the cutout right there.
Okay, so once it's fit over like that, now what we're gonna do is just take this Velcro right here, just pull that down, stick it on. Okay, some nice cloth or felt underneath on this original seat that it sticks really strong to right there. Then this one right here, what we're gonna do is take this back. Push it down. And it actually helps if you lift it halfway up right there. And then making sure that that's positioned where you want it, nice and tight. And then just roll your hand around and stick it down. And again, some nice Velcro to get that to stick down. There are some corners, these far corners, kind of right up against the trim right there. So if you just fit your fingers into it there, then you can push that onto the, the cloth a little bit more right there. Perfect. Okay, so that finishes the total 20 section. That's the bottom, uh, the bottom section, backrest, lid. We're all good to go with that. So now it's time to move on to the driver seat. We'll show you the driver bucket seat, headrest, backrest, and bottom. We're doing the driver backrest now. And the first thing that we're gonna do is remove a few things. First one is we're gonna remove the headrest and headrest removes just by pushing the two little buttons on the side right there and that pulls up and and out. So we're just gonna set that to the side for now. The other thing we're gonna remove is this back felt back there. So this back felt, we need to remove it for putting a few pieces of the cover on. And you reach underneath here, and there's these little plastic clips like that, that you just reach underneath and just unclip those. They're just pushed into a little bar, a little spring underneath there and just get those off. One is caught on a, like an electrical cable right now. You just wanna avoid pulling on any cables like that. Okay, so I got that release there. That's gonna give me access underneath there for installing the cover. Now the first cover that we're gonna put on is the driver bottom section because of the way this backrest and the bottom connect together. It's the uh, modified install, makes it a little bit simpler. So. We're gonna start with that bottom. Working on the bottom section, and what we're gonna do is just fit this in here. Again, this is the driver bottom, and the way I can tell it's the driver bottom is it's a little more narrow on this side plate right here. It tapers a little bit smaller right there versus this inside section it stays really wide right there. And also, this customer chose to have a driver side pistol holster and that driver pistol holster, again, always the holster, holster always goes on the driver's side right up here in the corner. So that's another way to, for me to tell that it's the driver side there. So we're gonna get this on here. This customer also chose to have a molly pocket. You can see more on our website about the molly pockets, how to use those, but that's a nice pocket right there. So we're getting things fit over. That's really the first thing you wanna do is just kind of fit it into place before you start fastening anything down. There's gonna be these strings I've untied. There were some knots, I've untied those knots in the strings. And I have these, these straps out. So now that I've started to fit it into place, I'm gonna take this and start to push it through in between. This is where it's really nice to have gloves for this particular spot is because it gets a little tight right there. Pushing that through and then also I'm, I'm gonna push those, those straps through, okay? Now that those are through here, I'm gonna fit on this front side a little bit more and I'm gonna show you on this side how to kind of finish out this side. And I like finishing this side out before I really finish things on the back right there. So now this is where the plastic trim tool comes in. 
you're gonna take this plastic trim tool and tuck it into this plastic right here on the side of the seat. That's gonna give it a really nice finished look as you use that. Now, this piece right here, this is the outside string. And what we're gonna wanna do with this outside string is push that string through the space between this plastic right here and it's gonna pass through on the bottom right there and then go around back and tie off. And again, you wanna go on the inside there so it finishes out really nice and clean and how it should look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push in right here and get an idea on where, where the space is inside there. I think I see that right now. I'm gonna actually drop this in. So I'm dropping this string in right here. I can feel it dropping down. And then what we're gonna need to do is go around on the other side here. See if we can find where, okay, there, there it is. I have located it. Just kind of in a tight spot underneath here. There we go. Okay, so there's the string. So it passed through from up here down to right here. Okay, and then you can see that this string over here, that's these are gonna tie off to each other on the back side back there. But now that that's passed through right there, and we have this looking really nice on this side right here, what I'm gonna do now is go on the back side back here and just pull that a little bit more snug. So let's, we'll, we'll now move to the back side. Now what we're gonna do is, this is the other string on the inside here. What we're gonna do first is take this Velcro piece and as long as this cover is fit on nice and tight on the front side there, we're gonna take that Velcro and stick that Velcro down first. So it's just gonna come down, laying it flat. I stuck that down onto some felt right there, okay? So that helps stick it down. Now this string right here, this is gonna pass on the outside of the seat belt. And just going straight back. Every now and then I change up the location of those strings a little bit, depending on once I get to the back side so I can see where it is. But we're gonna start with it there, just going straight back. Now I've just laid that there. Now we're gonna move to the back side and and finish that out on the back. I've passed this inside string back right here. So that's where this one is. Also, here's this string down here that I passed from the outside right there. And you can see that, you know, these are gonna now tighten up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a loop in one side and then tie it off. And so, I will go ahead and put a loop on this one right here. So I'm just looping it around itself right there. Okay, so I created a little bit of a loop right there. And now what I'm gonna do is take this string, put this string through it, through the loop. And when I pull this, I will pull it gently straight back rather than pulling at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so I'll, when I when I wanna give pull some tension out, I will pull it straight back like that. And also I'll pull a little tension out over here. I'm not cranking really hard on these. This, this drawstring doesn't have to be super tight. It really is just more for aesthetics, if anything, to keep those front corners kind of tucked in a little bit. 
Okay, so now, now what I'm doing is I'm just tying it off to itself. So I got this right here, just tying it off right there. Okay, so and then your string is done right there. You can take this extra string. What I do is I just reach it up underneath and just tuck it into a, a spring on the bottom of the seat right there. Okay, just kind of get it out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this down, do these straps, get these straps ready. Again, there's three straps, two, two outside straps and one middle strap. Just giving that a little bit of a pull. I'm not pulling too much because it was it was pretty set on the front. It was it was looking pretty good as far as how far I had pulled it. A lot of the times before I finalize, you know, cinching all this down, I'll go to the front and check the front to make sure everything's looking good before I do that. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now and just double check that everything's looking good before I finalize this. So I ran up to the front and checked and everything is looking really good, nice and smooth, no, no big wrinkles that I need to adjust out. So we're, we're good up there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this middle strap right here. This one goes down to a solid bar or a solid spring underneath the seat and back to itself. Okay, so I'm going underneath and again, it's always best if you can go to a bar that is connected to the bottom of the seat rather than the the housing the mounting housing so i found a bar that's it's really a a spring that's right underneath the seat here i'm pushing that strap around it and again you want to go to a solid bar and avoid any kind of pressure with electrical cords or cables underneath your seat. Okay, so I found a solid bar underneath there. And this strap is called the safety strap and it just makes sure that the seat cover never slides forward. Just really kind of locks it down in the back right there. Okay, so again, that's a strap, that's to a solid bar solid on there and that's going to keep it from sliding forward now okay so now i'm going to take this right here and just tuck this up and in just kind of get it out of the way underneath a, a solid bar as well now what we're going to do with these straps right here we're going to take these straps and pass them forward And again, what I'm doing here when I pass these forward is I'm going as close to the seat as possible and trying to go above any electrical cords and cables so that it way it doesn't give unneeded pressure to cords and cables underneath here. Now that I've passed those towards the front, I'm gonna to go to the other side, grab them, and we're, we're gonna cinch them up. Now, one big tip with this piece when you're passing these straps up to the front is on your driver's seat, raise it up as high as it'll go. That's gonna open up a lot more space, even you know maybe two inches of space to work with underneath here. So that's gonna help a lot if you have a driver's seat that's electric like this that, that moves up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we pass this strap up to the front, up to this buckle. Here's this buckle right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the middle strap right here, and then through the outside strap. Just like that. And now what we're gonna do is, now that I have that through, I'm gonna give a little bit of compression with my other hand right here. Just compress down just a little bit right there as I cinch that tight. That helps to just kind of smooth things down. Now I'm not gonna, not gonna give it too much pressure. I'm not gonna cinch it down super tight. Just, just so it's snug. That's really all it needs right there. Now this other side is the same way.
Perfect. Okay, that looks really good. Now, the the extra underneath here that you can just kind of tuck up underneath the seat. You could tuck it up onto a onto a spring if needed, right there. So the bottom seat's all done, the, the bucket bottom, and it looks great, nice and tight fitting. And now we're gonna do the driver backrest right here. So I know it's the driver backrest because on this year of vehicle, there are side airbags. And so that is where it deploys right there. Side airbags blow out on the outside of the vehicle. So we're gonna put that on right there. There's the side right here. We're gonna put this over. First thing we need to do is open up this section down here. Now this one was labeled driver backrest, but all the pieces are not always labeled. So it's good to watch these videos kind of orient yourself. So now that I've fit this over right here, the next step is to put these, these little headrest cutout holes need to go around this plastic headrest piece, okay? And this can be a little tight sometimes. We're gonna get it started. And sometimes I will trim these if they're, if they're just feeling too tight. Especially in this canvas material, there's not a lot of give to it. This one's gonna go on. There we go. So it just kind of stretched us a little bit and then pushed over, okay? So then that just goes on like that, finishes out like that right there. So you can see that's that's really the way to finish these. We're gonna do this one next. There we go. Okay, and now it's finished out right there. Okay, so those those are around. That's how that goes on right there. Now what we're gonna do is take this piece right here and push this through towards the back. Again, this is a nice place to wear gloves right here. Cause again, that gets pretty tight when you're pushing your hands through right there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the back side and take out some of this slack right here. Now that I've moved around to the back side, before I finish pulling that felt out, I'm just going to make sure that this is all lined up right here towards the top and take this and just pull that down, make sure these shoulders are all looking good right there. And now what we can do is we can move down here and pull the front side of this cover through right here. And that's gonna pull out some of that slack. Now, how this attaches on on the front side is this felt right here, 
is going to stick onto this Velcro. Okay, and this is the modified install. It's a newer method. Uh, George came up with this install right here of how to do this. And you take this felt right here, you give, give it a nice pull, and then stick that down right there. Okay. Okay, so now that's stuck down there, I'm gonna fold that up right here, just kinda get, get these corners out of the way. Right there, there's enough felt on the front side that's sticking down with it. Now, before I finish this out, I wanna go check the front side, make sure it's all looking nice and smooth before I finish that. So I'll go double check that front, make sure it's looking good. Now we're on the front side and just making sure, you know, th this is looking a lot better. I pulled quite a bit of the slack out right there and now one thing you want to try to do is you try to m match up these outside lines with, now they don't always match exactly so don't be too worried if you're not getting them exact uh, especially when the insert and trim are the same fabric you really won't even notice but it's nice if you can get you know this outside line lining up right here and this one over here lining up because once you've really finished putting all the velcro down it becomes a little bit more difficult to to change that up so I just, I got those lined up a little bit better right there. They, are, they were actually pretty good to, to start out with. And then the other piece that we're gonna do now is the Velcro attachments on the outside here. I'll just give you a quick view on that here in a second. Now we're gonna do these Velcro pieces right here. So this is for the side airbag. If the air, airbag ever needs to deploy, blows through right there. Now this last piece I'll do once I finish that section down there, but now I've done those. This backrest is looking nice and tight. This section's looking good. Okay, we're gonna finish that back. Now for the last piece of this backrest. Now this, since this is stuck down already, we're good there. What we're gonna do is take this piece right here. Okay, and we can hook these back up to their bars underneath. So we're just gonna reach underneath and it hooks back onto the bar. Right there, there's one of them. Let me grab this other one. Those are pretty easy to find. They just hook onto those bars underneath there. And now this right here, we're just gonna pull this underneath right there. And stick that down. Okay, perfect. As you can see, this customer chose to have a rear fabric pocket right here. So this, if you didn't choose to have a rear fabric pocket, it would just be the, the seat cover fabric on the back side. This canvas fabric was this choice. And then also you have another option to do, choose the special ops package. It's another nice add on if you wanna, wanna do that. But we're all good with that. Now it's time to do the headrest cover. We're doing the headrest cover now. Now the headrest cover to orient yourself with it, the hook Velcro is gonna be on the front side. It's also wider, okay? So this is the front right here, this wider piece, that narrow, more narrow piece is gonna be towards the back. Okay, so taking that front piece right here, we're gonna slip the headrest in. Now you always wanna compress that headrest down as you do this. That's really gonna allow you to get it on. Pushing that cushion in right there. Okay, so you see now I need to orient this correctly and kind of rotate it around to get it on right. Okay, that's looking a lot better right now.
Perfect. So there's the front, there's the bottom, there's the back. That's what everything should look like, okay? She got that on. You got this seat up so high that the headrest wasn't going in. Perfect. Okay, that looks great. Now it's time to move on to the back seat. We're on the back seat now on this 21 Ram 2500. And we are first gonna show you that the seat style is a 60-40 split bench with a rear armrest, three headrest back here. So the armrest folds out like that. So if you have that, you wanna, want, wanna let us know that you have the armrest. Also, this is a 60-40 where this is 60% and then there's 40% over there. So that's separate seating sections right there. Some have solid benches in the back, but this one again is 60-40. Now the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take the headrests out. Of all, all, all three headrests need to be removed. So again, pushing these here and then you pull that up and then, then it pulls out right there. Okay, so we're just gonna take those headrests Pop them out here. Okay, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're first going to do the 60 section backrest. It's probably the most difficult piece. So we'll start with that. Now the first thing you need to do as you're doing this 60 section backrest cover is take this seat belt pull that forward and slide the cover underneath it, okay? Again, that's an important step because if you just put it on, it's gonna cover the seat belt. So you need to pull that through right there like that, okay? So the seat belt should be sitting now on front of the cover. Next, we're going to take all the straps Make sure that all these straps here are facing you. So that way you can see them as before we pass them down the back side. We're gonna start to fit things onto play into place here. I'm gonna roll that corner over right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the white fiber stick tool and we're gonna take these, these cutouts that have been cut out for the headrest and we're gonna fit them around these sections. Now these middle ones are gonna be your tightest too because they have foam backing to them which makes them, you know, for this section right here makes it a little bit tighter. And also there's just not a lot of uh, room with it. They just end up being really tight. So I'm going to start it, but there is a chance that I may trim this and cut, cut some slits into it. And if you need to, the slits that you would cut, I'll, I'll show you that, how you do that here in a second. You can see I got this about halfway on right now, but I am gonna cut a little bit of a slip, slit to give myself a little bit more space. So 
So I'm just slitting that a little bit, not too much, because again, you don't want it to, uh, you don't want, you don't want it to show once it's over, but that's, that's gonna open that up just a little bit more right there. Give myself just a little bit more space with it. And again, I'm slowly just working that over. You can see now it's it's gonna be it's gonna go over and it's just gonna push underneath. Okay, so you can see that's that's how you do it like that right there. Okay. So we're gonna need to get we're probably gonna do that same thing with this other one. Okay, so we're about halfway right there. I'm just gonna cut another little slit in this. And this this time I'm gonna cut it towards the back a little bit, like right there. Again, if you had little scissors, that's probably the better thing. I just I have my pocket knife right now. That works too, but some scissors would, would do the trick too on this. Again, not not cutting a lot, just you know, maybe a quarter inch, maybe half inch, not 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 too much. Just just giving a a little bit more space on these, because again, these are the these are the tightest ones back here. There you go, now it just slowly goes over. I'm just working this fiber stick tool pretty good. There we go. Okay, I got it popped over now. Perfect. Okay, so that's that's how that goes on right there. So that section's good. Now we're gonna do this one over here. I don't think I'll need slits on these, potentially, but that was, again, these are the two tightest because they're just super close together right there. There we go. Okay, so that one's over right there. Now we're gonna do this one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so those finished out nice right there. Now the next major step is to it is actually we're gonna pass these these straps down the back side and get them ready for the buckles we're not going to finish that yet uh, but just just get them ready so we're gonna take all these straps pass them down I'll show you how to do that really the best way to do it is having the seat up a little bit right there that actually when your seat is up like this it creates a little bit more space on the back 
So we're gonna take these two straps here and feed them down the back side of the seat. So there's one. Here's this next one. Okay, got that one down. And you can even reach underneath and make sure you're, okay, so there's that middle one right there. Right, here's this outside one right there, so that's good. Now, if, you, if you're really struggling with this, you could take a small rod or a wire, like a hanger or you know, another wire and tape those straps to the wire or rod and then push that down the back side and then remove the tape once it's down there. I find that most of the time I don't need to do that. On some trucks, it's super tight back there and you need to do that, but this one's not too bad. It just kind of passes down right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna reach through. Okay, perfect, I got that one right there. Got this end one right there, and now I'm looking for this other middle one. There it is, right there. Okay, so I have all those passed through right there, and those straps are gonna end up going onto these buckles right here. So what we'll do is we'll actually take these and get that pushed through. Now there are gonna be child seat attachment bars, and you need to go above those. So that's what I'm working on right now. It's making sure that cover goes above that so those are still exposed. The child, oh, there, there are, there's another one right here too, actually. There's two on the outside over here, here, here. There's that one right there. So four, four on this section. Two here and then two here. Okay, that opened that up actually quite a bit. That, that may be the better way to go above those child seat attachment bars is with this seat up like that. It's really tight when you're pushing that down if the seat's down there. But with it up like this, that opens up the space a lot more. So now I can reach underneath, grab the front of that cover Pull it through here.
Okay, so I'm just pulling that cover through. Making sure that's pulled through right there. And yeah, that's looking good. I'm gonna pull it this way a little bit. Good, so all those, again, all four child seat attachment bars are visible. Those are looking good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, now that those are through, I'm actually gonna take the straps and hook them into the buckles. So I'll start with this outside strap. So just like the front seats on the seat bottoms, there's this right here. And I'll get that through right there. Now I'll just get it started. I'm not gonna finish that yet. We're just gonna get them in so they're all in place. And it's always good to make sure you've passed through all your straps and you've lined them up with the buckles before you start cinching these up. Because what I've, what's happened to me in the past is I've gotten started too soon and I ended up lining up the wrong strap with the wrong buckle. And then I had to undo it and reset it, so. Now that the straps to buckles are started and I got them in place. Before we finish everything else out, I'm actually gonna do this armrest section here. And first, first thing we're gonna do is take this armrest cover and pull this over right here. We need to pop this through here. It's that little pull tab. That way you can still use this pull tab to pull your armrest out. Okay, that's looking good there. Cup holders are still accessible with that. Now what we're gonna do is take this front Velcro right here. push that through. And then it needs to attach to this Velcro right here. So we're gonna take that Velcro, push it around. You just gotta reach back up there and stick them down to each other. It's a little bit of a tight spot, but it's definitely doable. Okay, sweet. So the armrest cup holder is done there. Now what we need to do is we need to take these inner flaps for this armrest section right here, take these flaps and tuck them into this plastic trim right there. This is where the 
plastic trim tool helps a lot. The toughest sections are gonna be these corners up here, okay? So what I like to do is kind of get it started up higher, pushing more fabric up there to get that started. And you're just pushing it behind that, that plastic right there. Okay, so that corner has been started now. Then we're gonna come over to this corner here. Get this guy going. Okay, great. So both those top corners are in now. Now what I'll do is pull out the extra fabric and just push it in right here on these sides. Okay, that's looking great right there. Really nice. Now what we'll need to do is take this bottom flap right here and tuck it in underneath the armrest. Okay, perfect. So I have that tucked underneath there. Great. Okay, sweet. So now what we need to do, now that that's, that's in place, we can finish these sections down here with those straps and buckles, finish tightening, tightening those up. And then there's this elastic strap right here. What, what I like to do with this strap there's two ways you can do it. You can take this strap and just go to this elastic and go to one of the straps that's going down and tie it off there. What I like to do is I actually like to tie these off to each other on the back side right there. So if there's enough length, I'll just tie them to each other. If there's not enough length, then I'll take another string that I just get from the front driver bottom and cut off a little extra string and tie one string to the end and then to the other end and they tie off really nice on the back there. Okay, so that's the next piece we're gonna work on. So this is a little extra string that I actually cut this string off of the driver bottom that there was plenty of extra string available. And I cut that off here and I tied it to one of the elastics, the elastic uh, pieces on this backrest. And now I've tied it on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach across to the other elastic and tie them together now again, you can just take those elastics and just go to a, one of the one of the straps. But again, I like tying them off 
together, I think it ends up getting a little more snug that way. But that's just, that's just my method of installing. So we got that. So I got it looped through the elastic. I know it's kind of a hard spot for you to see here, but what I've done is I've taken that string, looped it through the other elastic. Now what I'm gonna do is just tie it off down here. And that's gonna pull both of those sides in. Got it, so now I've tied that off there. And so again, what that did, I'll show you up here above, is that that now gives pressure on these sides. So that's gonna hug around that outside right there. Okay, so I can feel that kind of pulling around right there. And then same thing right here, that's gonna pull around. Now what we need to do is we need to take these buckles or straps and finish cinching those up. And again, this can be a, a tighter part of the install as well. Really the best way to do it is to reach underneath. And it actually helps quite a bit if you go kind of in this position where you have your arm underneath and you're, you're folding the seat out a little bit right there because it opens up a little bit more space for your hand. Okay, so we're gonna check that on the front here. So I cinch those off right there. Yeah, that's you know nice, nice and snug around here. I mean that's that's looking really good. And again, the child seat bars are all accessible, and that that actually helps hold the cover in nice and tight too, right there, like that. So that's that's looking really good. I'll just see if I need to smooth out anything else. But overall, that's that's looking great. Okay, so that backrest is done now. Now we're gonna do the bottom section. We're working on this 60 section bottom now. So this is a pretty easy 60 section bottom versus the backrest. That one, that one's a little bit more difficult to put on. But this one's not too bad. So what we're gonna do is just Get it over like this. I just kind of like going side to side and slowly fit it on. Like that. Just make sure those corners are all filling in right there. There's this Velcro here that will stick down, but you wanna get it pulled all the way down first before you stick it. should fit on nice and tight like that. Okay, I got that first section pulled through right there. Again, I'm going underneath the seatbelt right there. And I have had people think that these cutouts right here are 
for the seat belt, uh, but they're actually made for the uh, for the child seat attachments. Okay, so we're we're gonna go underneath the seat belt. Okay, and then this opening is for the child seat attachments. Uh, technically, on this particular truck, I think you'd be fine either way, uh, but that's that's what it's designed for. Okay, so. And again, what I'm doing here, I wanna make sure you can see this, is there's these child seat bars right there. That's what those cutouts are made for, right there, okay? And then there's that, that cutout over here, that's gonna be for that child seat attachment bar. Okay, so that's good there. So now those can be pulled through all the way. We're gonna pull this down and we're good to stick that Velcro down now. It's so nice having all that covered because let's say you have your dog back here or your, your muddy gear and stuff like that. This felt cloth can just get so dirty and hard to clean. So having that, this, this cover now with that durable cover, super gonna be super easy to clean. Now, okay, so now that these are have been pushed through, we're then gonna make sure that everything's nice and tight and looking good there on the top, which it is. And now we're gonna take this and stick this Velcro down. Okay, and so that should line up right close to right close to where that other velcro went right here I'll pull this one up a little bit okay perfect yeah, that's sweet. That looks really good. Nice. Okay, then there's this this other guy right here. Oh, we need to pull up. Stick down. Okay, so that is the 60 section bottom. So that's all done there now. Now I'm just gonna show you the outside headrest and the middle headrest. And the 40 section is gonna, this smaller section right here, that's gonna install with those same steps that we did on this 60 section, minus that we're, we're not gonna have an armrest. It's just gonna be the, the bottom and the backrest. But the same thing, where straps go through down to buckles, there's elastic straps that you tie off to each other, and that bottom just slides over and Velcro's down. Very simple there. So let's move on to those headrests. We'll show you that next. We're working on the headrest now. First, we're gonna do the, uh, the first outside headrest. Now this outside headrest here, what? Uh, almost all the headrests, all four outside headrests are the same way where the hook Velcro is the front of the, the cover. And then this smaller, not as wide cover, this uh, loop Velcro is towards the back. Yeah. So we're gonna orient this. This is the front of the headrest that we pulled out right here. And we're gonna fit this on. Just like we did the front, it's always best to compress these a little bit, push them down.
And then just attach that Velcro right here. Okay, nice. So that's how the front should look. Here's the side, the bottom right there. That's really how it'll fit on right there. And then we're just gonna put that back into place. Okay, perfect. Just gonna fit that in a little bit more right there. Okay, great. Now we're gonna do this small middle headrest. I'll show you how this fits on. The outside, they have the 40 section headrest. That's gonna fit on the exact same as the 60 section headrest. Okay, so this one, this one's a little bit different to orient just because of the, the shape of it. But what you're gonna look at is there's, there's kind of a skinny side right here, or a shorter side, and a taller side up here. And it kind of curves around like that. So this taller side is gonna be the front of the headrest right there and that's that shorter kind of skinny fabric going around the back right here that's the back okay so we're just gonna fit this guy in it'll be pretty simple it's just a elastic strap around the bottom Okay, and that is how the front should fit. There's the side, top, there's the bottom right there. Okay, so that's how that one finishes out right there. I'm gonna put that one in here. Okay, perfect. So now we have that 60 section done. The headrests are done, armrest, backrest, bottom, all done there. Now the last thing that you have to do is the 40 section. And again, it installs with the same steps as the 60 section over here. So you should be all good to go on this. And we're really excited that you're watching this install video and you've completed the install. Good job. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching again this has been neil here with covers and camo your source for custom seat covers to see more videos like this go to coversandcamo.com now if you want to get a set order for your vehicle again the site to go to is coversandcamo.com thanks mm -hmm.